Andreas Giorgio here for MMA Plus at Tanker Fighting Championships, now joined by Quadzilla himself. How's it going, man? Massive, massive winner against Hayden Sheriff. you got a smile on your face. You're looking good, man. Uh, you know, just quick, you know, first reactions from that big, big win here at Tanker Fighting Championships. Um, obviously, I'm pumped. I'm in, I'm in front of Manchester. Um, I work over the road. Uh, yeah, it's local, local area, local shows. Good to get the win. Uh, the last time I fought it was 2014 on, on yeah. the undercard of Bama, so it was nice to be back in Manchester for once. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it, really. I'm I'm just chuffed. I can't really <laughs> explain much in words. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, Javon, I know you had your uh, opponent pull out uh, really late notice as well. You know, Hayden was a very last minute replacement for you. Yeah. You know, with your mindset, you know, coming into that and having to change, you know, your thought process and you know how you're going to approach the fight. How much does that mentally knock you? You know, going into this. Um, in to be quite honest, I don't want to sound big headed or too cocky, but it didn't really, it didn't really make a difference because, you know, we understand the game that we're in. Um, you know, people pull out. I've had, I've had guys pull out on me before, so maybe because I've had the experience mm -hmm. of it happening, I kind of dealt with it in, in my stride. And especially being at All Powers, we, you know, we're not, we're not a one-dimensional gym, so I'm always working a different game. So I'm wrestling with the best wrestlers, striking with the best strikers. You know, Brendan had us like clinching with all the tie boxes. You know, still I'm working my cardio, hitting hitting the stairs. So I, I just I was confident in my skill set and my fitness, and I, I just knew that whatever happened, I was gonna come out come out yeah. of there, you know, putting a good performance in. So yeah. yeah. Now you before this card you fought on FCC, you didn't yeah. get the win unfortunately. I spoke to Brendan after that, and he was like, you know, we're gonna just take it on the chin, and we're gonna learn and we're gonna move forward from that, because that's the old powers mindset, you yeah. know, a loss or a win, we, we learn from yeah. it. Is, is that 100% everything you, you know, you feel going into any fight? Yeah, definitely. Like I said, you know, it didn't matter what happened tonight. You know, I was gonna come in here and, and, and give it my best, mm -hmm. do exactly what what we've done in the gym. Like my last performance, yeah, I, you know. I had to look. I looked at it and I just thought, yeah. you know, a minute and a half. If I'd have held on, I could have got it. Mm -hmm. I, I would have got it by points yeah. clearly. But it's the fight game. Things happen, and I, I switched off, and, and obviously Joe was still there to, to pounce. So you've got to be, you've got to be ready at all times. So like Brendan said backstage, you know, I, you know, I put in a good performance, and that's that's the that's the yeah. mentality for all powers. Win, lose or draw, you know, as long as we go there and perform, and you know, we fight our hearts out. That's it. Our opponents know we're not coming. You know, it's not going to be an easy night fighting one of us. Yeah. So yeah. And, you know, being here at the Manchester Victoria Warehouse, you know, this is your home turf, yeah. man. Like, how does it feel? Because I, we've been out there all night and the atmosphere is just electric. It's so hard to describe. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I, I, was, I was in two minds where we were going to fight so close after a loss and I was like a bit bummed out back in the gym. And then as soon as they said, you know, it's going to be at Victoria Warehouse, I was like, you know what, count me in, <laughs> count me in. There's no better way to, to bounce back in front of your home, like your hometown, yeah, yeah. do you know what I mean? So... I was excited the whole way leading up to the fight every morning. The guys just, you know, messaging each other, bit of motivation, going out there. When, this, when the training sessions got tough, you know, we've got everyone in the gym saying, you're doing this in front of your families in your hometown. So, you know, that, what more motivation do you need? And, and it's true. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was definitely excited. Definitely. Definitely what I'll be fighting here. Uh, definitely again. Like, I don't know. Hopefully, they get the next tank home before the end of the year. Yeah. So, I'll see what my schedule's like. And because obviously, I've got other commitments with, with the army and work. So, yeah. This is crazy, man. But yeah, yeah. You're gonna, you're gonna be taking some time off from fighting right now. Um, I won't say I'm taking. I'm, I'm probably not gonna be competing, but I'll still be training. Okay. Um, I'll still be training. Obviously, I've got, um, I've got a son who's gonna be one at the end of this month. So I've got, a, I've neglected him. Yeah, yeah, cheers. I've neglected him a little bit for back to back fight camps, and you know, it's, it's one of them things. And, and because they're growing up, it's, course, it's hard. Man. So I'm gonna, I'll be training with all the guys in the gym because I know some of them, some of them will be competing on the FCC and other shows. Mm -hmm. Um, but I've got commitments with the army, so I've got to go away a couple of weeks here and there. So it wouldn't be fair on me or an opponent if I if I took a fight because I probably wouldn't be at my best. Okay. But yeah, so I'll I'll still be training. But early next year, I'll definitely be looking to get back in there. Like Feb like I said, throw my hat in for Bama in February. I don't know if Jude's watching or or Zorba. <laughs> He's watching. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Last one, Javon. Uh, talk about uh, you know family, and I know how much it means to you. You know because you have to travel a lot and, and yeah. stuff like that. But you know being in Manchester, and being so close to home, does that kind of give you that that extra motivation, knowing that you know this is it's kind of a real special fight yeah. every time you get to fight here in Manchester? Yeah, it definitely is because it's it's. I used to fight a lot um, on the, at the Ritz, so it was it, yeah. you know we made I took it for granted a little bit because it was every you know every so often we go down to the Ritz and everyone would come. And then after a bit, it was traveling around. So some fights are fought in Sunderland and yeah. places like that where some family couldn't make it. Um, it was just, it, it does give you a bit of an extra kick just to, 
you know, you're fighting your home crowd, there's a lot more people coming to watch them than usual, so you're, you're on top of your game, but it also brings a little bit more pressure as well, so, because you, you, you know, you, not that you feel forced, but I feel obliged to make sure I get the win for, for the people that are coming to watch, so, yeah, that's an extra pressure, I enjoyed it though, yeah. I enjoyed it, it was good. Well, Quadzilla, massive win and big congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much, man.